Hey everyone, it's Nadia from Leah Dia Designs and I am back with another tutorial. Today we have another quick one. Um, it's something I wanted to experiment with and I really don't know <laughs> how it's going to turn out. So um, what I have is two coasters that were made from a while ago and these they're kind of sample uh, coasters because they are pretty thin, like they're not my typical thickness. So I figured they were good to try this out with. And they have a bit of sparkle in the middle, which is going to work out really nicely, I think, with what I'm planning to do with them. So I have these and these are like in kind of a lavender color. There you go. The bottom, I think, I can't remember what I was doing with these, but obviously I was <laughs> scraping them with my popsicle stick in kind of a flower pattern, but I don't know. Ooh, I can't remember. It's probably, these are probably like over a year and a half old. So anyway, we have these. And my idea today is to try using uh, doilies on them. So I have these ones here. They're little mini doilies like that size. And what I also want to do is put some kind of design on that. So I was thinking something like these little butterfly stickers. And these are things that I found. Um, actually, I've used, sorry, I found them on Amazon, but I, I've been using them for quite a while. I use them for some of my goddess trays and some other pieces that I've made in the past. So I have a whole container of them and there's quite a few. So I was thinking if we were to do something kind of like this, that it might be kind of cool. Um, but what I want to do is obviously because the coasters still have a nice design in the middle, I want that to show as well. So what I'm going to be doing is cutting out the center of the, so as you can see, it should be pretty easy with this particular doily. Um, there are a bunch of others in the, um, in the package. I'll just show those quickly. So this is the Amazon package that I got. And as you can see, there's many different sizes. So you could use them for lots of different things, cut them and shape them for different projects that you have. So, and they're not very expensive. So they're a, kind of a neat way to add designs, I think, to your coasters. So I have those. And I also have these ones here, which already have patterns on them. I'm not going to use these ones today, but I just want to show you these. That, so if you don't want to go through, you know, any additional design work, you can just use something like this to add um, designs to your pieces. So that's an option as well. So, so the first thing I want to do is I want to cut out the center and I'm just going to use my knife to do that. So as you can see, I kind of started. So I just take my X-Acto knife and I'm literally just going to cut around. I do want to keep a little bit of the little de bump designs that are in the middle there. So I'm not completely cutting those off. Okay, and there we go. So that is what we're going to be using. And it looks like so. So now you can kind of see the center, but it kind of creates a border on our coaster, which I think looks really cute. I made a second one here, so we have that one as well. Now the one thing I am doing, which may not be too noticeable, is I actually double layered these. And um, so you can see when I cut that one out, it was actually double layered. The reason why is I think that the single layer might be a little bit too thin, especially once we put resin on it. So uh, I think the doubling, la double layering it is gonna work out better. But anyway, so now that we have this, um, I did wanna mention that I did do a little bit of a test on this before and where I tried adhering um, the doily to the, the coaster with my gloss varnish and that's a liquid gloss varnish. And I found that um, as paper does, it sometimes will saturate, uh, the, the gloss varnish will saturate into the paper and it made it semi-transparent. So we kind of lose some of the detail on there. So it kind of started to blend a little bit more into the coaster, which I still think is going to happen to some degree when I pour resin, but it was just a little bit too much. So I think we're safer with these is to use a spray adhesive. And uh, many of you know I'm not a huge fan of spray adhesive because 
or sorry, just other adhesives in general, not necessarily spray adhesive, but any other adhesives, because sometimes I find there's issues with yellowing in resin, but um, that, so that'll be part of this test is to find out if that is going to be an issue over time. We won't know right away. It'll be over time that I know if that's going to be an issue. I hope not because we're not using very much of it to stick this down and the, and the, uh, the spray adhesive is not going to be visible. It's going to be underneath the doily. So I think we're going to be okay, but I don't know. We'll see how that goes. So anyway, so we're going to ad uh, adhere these with some spray adhesive onto the coasters. So I'm gonna quickly go outside and come back and have that ready, one second. Okay, so I'm back. So that is, that's the doilies. I just had on a backer paper and it's, uh, now I sprayed it and I used this spray here. It, oh, that's French. <laughs> um, this is the multi-purpose, uh, it's a re, it's a spray adhesive, but it's a, it's a repositionable. I don't know if that's gonna matter since we're sealing this under resin. Um, but it's, it helps because I guess in this case, if you want to place it and then potentially, uh, you know, take it off and replace it again, that would allow you to do that. It wouldn't be permanent on the first, uh, on the first, uh, application. So anyway, so that's what I used. Just did a light spray on them. So here they are. And I'm just going to go ahead and take, oh, it wants to stick to the paper. So we're going to stick that one down like so. Like so. And then we'll take the other one. And place it down as well. Like so. All right, so there we go. And I'm gonna just use a piece of paper to completely kind of press those down. So hopefully. That's one. So there we go. All right, so now we have our doilies and I mean even that looks really cute just like that if you just want kind of a border on your piece but I do want to add the butterflies and the other thing you could do too so like I said these are stickers so you can just stick them on uh, I mean this one I might just do on an angle like that um, but you can use different types of things as well for example if you saw my uh, hummingbird water slide coasters from a couple weeks ago I used uh, these little hummingbird guys on water slide paper obviously we wouldn't use water slide pa I mean, water for this um, to adhere the water slide paper on here but you could also just print this on regular paper or photo paper and then do the typical thing that you would do which is like seal it and then you could use um, I would use the spray adhesive again for this because we don't want to get any of the the doily kind of saturated with the gloss varnish so so you could do something like that as well, which I think is super cute. Um, but for this one, we're going to be using, I had this guy here, which I was thinking to use right there. And then this guy was going to be maybe like this. I do have some other ones as well. I have like this one. I just kind of already went through my I already went through all my butterflies and picked the ones I thought would work well with the theme. So these are the types of designs you could do. You could even do two butterflies. This one's a little bit too large, but if you wanted, you could have like two on the coasters like that. So lots of options. And with these, they're super simple. You can just basically peel off the backing and then we stick them down where we want them, like so. And the great thing about this is that uh, now that we've stuck them on, there's no waiting time for, for, you know, the, you know, the gloss varnish to dry or anything like that. We're going to leave them exactly as they are. And then we could, you know, if you, 
So these ones, as you can tell, I have my coasters already out of the mold. So because of that, it, in order to dome them, I'm going to need to put liquid latex on the bottoms to kind of protect the bottom when I do the dome coat. But if, um, if you've left your coasters in the mold, so let's say you poured your base layer of resin and then you did this technique on top, and then you're basically ready to go to just pour another resin layer right on top of it. You know, there's no waiting time for drying here. So that is actually pretty cool in that sense as well. That, um, that this is a really fast technique. You don't have to, you know, wait overnight or anything for things to dry. So if you're looking for something quick, this could work out really well for you. So anyway, so now that this is done, <laughs> look how fast that was. Now, um, like I said, I'm gonna be putting liquid latex on the bottom of mine, and that needs to dry for about half an hour. If you guys wanna see what that is, um, this is the product that I use. I just kind of Google it online and try to find it. Uh, Amazon has some other ones too, but I actually really like this one. And I would just take a paintbrush and I paint the edges um, about this wide along the bottom, all the way around. And then I usually have it propped up on a cup. So if I was to like, say like a cup like this, I would just prop it up, um, well, upside down like that and uh, paint the edges, let it dry. And then once it's clear on the, uh, once the liquid latex is clear, then you know it's ready and you can just flip your coaster over and pour your resin. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And hopefully it works out nice. And this is really neat too with the glitter behind it. I'm not going to be adding any more glitter. I mean, you could add more glitter. You could actually also even dry brush some color on the edge, you know, around the doily to kind of give it more of a, a different type of look, you know, some, you know, it's a bit of more of a contrast in some colors or just give it some weathering or things like that. If you wanted to do that, I kind of just want to see how it, how this by itself looks, but definitely there are options for that. So you can do that as well. And uh, yeah, so I just think that it looks pretty neat. That sparkle, kind of a magical butterfly there. So anyway, so I'm gonna go into a time lapse. We'll get the, uh, the, the top coat done and then we'll be back afterwards to see how it all looks. Okay, so we are back. Now, it's been a bunch of hours since I did the top coat, um, and they're looking pretty cool. Um, as you could probably tell in the time lapse, as soon as we poured the resin, uh, especially when, you, when I had poured one and not the other, you could really see the difference of when I poured resin, how the, the uh, doily just kind of started absorbing the resin, or at least it was starting to affect the paper. And it just went from a bright white to kind of something more subdued, which I think is really pretty actually for this because it gives that subtle look that I was hoping for. Um, the bright white looks nice too, but I think we always have to be wary of that kind of stuff with resin. Now, um, of course, what we learned with the uh, water slide is potentially I could have um, used a, the spray acrylic sealer on these and potentially that would have protected it a little bit more against the resin um, so that it wouldn't have absorbed as much. So I would probably have to try to test that at another time to see if that helps at all in terms of keeping the doily a bit more white. Like I said, in this case, I actually don't mind at all because I do like the subtle effect of the doily and the butterfly is able to kind of stand out more. Uh, so we can take a closer look at these so you can see how cool that looks. Now I do need to add another coat. I haven't taken off the liquid latex off the bottom yet because I do need to add another top coat, a second top coat to these because if I go this way, you can see right here that the top, remember how I had two ply or two layers of the doilies? The top layer, obviously, because it, it wasn't stuck down, it started to float. So that's what's starting to happen here. It's just along the edge of the sump, not even everywhere, because most of it was fine, but in a couple spots, 
this was starting to happen. So once I add another top coat, that should uh, kind of cover all that. And the same thing on this one. Like I said, I do like the subtle effect here of the doily on the, the background. So it just kind of gives you, you know, you can see that there's a layer or a texture there, but it's not overpowering the butterfly or even the glitter. The glitter is even standing out really nicely on here. So I think that looked pretty cool. Now, what I haven't told you guys <laughs> is that I this is actually the second attempt that I made of this today. I mean, all this 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 video has been an adventure for me. So the first attempt I made was with this coaster here and this and it's going to be really hard to see on camera. This is white on white. So if I get close enough, you can see that I have a glittery iridescent background and the doily is in there, but when it's like this, <laughs> you can't even see it so it definitely you know uh, like I said it, it didn't go completely they don't they're not going completely transparent but it's just enough so that it's you know blending a lot more than I wanted it to um, again I mean I think this is still very pretty it's especially when you look at it you know and you can see the dimensions there um, I still think it's really pretty it's just you know I'd like it to be a little bit more um, you know, obvious between the different textures here. And as I mentioned before, if I wanted to, I could like do a little bit of dry painting, dry, dry brush painting along the edging um, or something to, to kind of weather or enhance the uh, engraving of the, um, the embossing, I guess, of the doily. I mean, there's options here, but again, I want, my whole point was to try to test just putting the doily in resin and seeing what happens. So we have that. And then I had a, a blue version to that as well. So there you go, same idea. And it, like I said, super cute. I love the sparkle on this one. And yeah, if I could have gotten the doily to look a little bit more, um, I don't wanna say obvious, but it's a little bit more, uh, I don't know, apparent, it just showed up a bit more, then I think that would have been the look I was going for with those. So, so we have that. Let's just, we'll put all of them on camera so we can see them all here. And like I said, they, they didn't another layer of resin, so I do need to do that as well. That one's there. And that guy is there. So, so that's, that's our set. Um, like I said, I think the white ones are still really pretty. It just doesn't like, it's just, it's kind of nicer here on these lavender ones where you can actually see the detailing a little bit more. So yeah, so there we go. So overall, I think the technique is worth some worth trying, especially if you like this style, the kind of vintagey or antique style. I think this is really cool. And then this is a great thing as well. If you have a coaster, like how I had these old sample coasters, if you have coasters that you feel like need something a little bit more, maybe you poured them anticipating to use them for something else. They didn't quite turn out right. This is another great way, similar to the Kintsugi style. Uh, washi tape that I did well it was gosh, last year <laughs> um, it's uh, that's also you know just kind of fixing a fail same idea with something like this you can easily make a coaster that you feel or a, a tray or anything that you feel maybe isn't to the you know this the look or the style that you were going for you can easily do something like this and just really just take it to the next level and make it gorgeous and make it, you know, something that's usable and sellable and all the things that we want to do as resin artists. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I actually, I enjoyed this process. Like I said, it's pretty simple. I like the fact that it's so quick. Like I said, you can just, you know, stick the doilies on, stick in this case, we use butterflies, but whatever other thing that you want to stick on it. And, um, uh, and like I said, you don't have to go any further than that in terms of adding more glitter or adding more gloss varnish elements. Um, and that's what I did with this one as well. I did the glitter at, when I poured the resins on the resin base. So this way I, it has the glitter in it. Let's see if I can get it better. It has the glitter in it. I didn't have to add it after the fact. 
and it kind of created a really neat look for that as well. So we're still getting the glitter in there. We're not giving our giving up our glitter, but it just allowed us to do that. And then this top um, design was, you know, super quick. And then we could go ahead and pour our resin right over it. So in any case, guys, again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you all who are supporting the channel and by subscribing and liking and sharing and all of you who are sending in super chats and super thanks and coffees and <laughs> all the things the link is all the link links for the products I'm using in this video as well as my beacons link which has everything all my other socials in it are all in the description under the video so I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next time take care bye